Our press event for our senior county finals. Uh, I want to welcome first and foremost the participating clubs, Nick Connell, Nev Island and Kilcarha, to the players, managers and uh, officials of the three clubs. You're very, very welcome here this evening. Paddy McBerty is with me. Paddy, uh, we're in the latter stages now of the, the launches. I suppose these things have to be done because we're looking forward to mm. a big county final Kilcarra and this has a great ring about it. Uh, yeah, I suppose it's, it's for us it's just great to be back in another county final. You know, we were there last year and things didn't go our way, but uh, you know, we've, we've had a good rivalry and uh, good battles with Neve Connell there over the last number of years at underage and senior level. So, you know, it's good to be meeting them in a, in a senior final now. It shows how the, the players have really come from underage, I suppose, really up and have now transitioned into senior level. So, uh, you know, it's going, be, it's going to be a big day for the two parishes. What does it say about this Kilcar team? Because we know how disappointed they were last year to lose that final. To bounce back like this means that there's something special about this team, Paddy. Would that be true? Yeah, listen, you know, we were obviously disappointed losing last year. You know, I suppose we were made favourites and everything. You know, the better team won the day in, in terms of Gunswally winning it. And, um, you know, we were dealt a tough group at the start of the year we had uh, Gidor, Glenswilly and uh, Ardra so we had to get back on the horse fairly sharpish get a bit of training done and uh, get over that first Gidor game in, in, at home in Tourney uh, luckily we did that and then uh, we had a bit of a break then until the county went out and uh, had two big games against Ardra and Glenswilly you know it was really getting through the group stages we were really concentrating on at a start it wasn't really about getting back to another county final at that stage it was really the first Gidor game so uh, no, we've really just took each game as it's, as it's come, and when we're back in another county final now, I say it's a bit like Neve Connell, they've just taken every game as it's come, they didn't probably think they'd be in the county final at the start of the year, they probably weren't thinking of it, like, like ourselves, so listen, the two teams are, are in the county final now again, and uh, you know, it's going to be a good day. Well, Owen Wade's with me, I've suggested to a few Neve Connell people that I've spoken to tonight already, Owen, and none of them have actually disagreed with me that you've sort of staggered your way into this final, but it's a good way to get to a final. Ah, uh, that's right. Um I suppose through the groups and that there we haven't been well convincing with unions beating us too. Um, as you say it's a good way to be going getting through the final you know, in every game you have something to improve on, you know. Yeah. And listen, I mean he's up against it in the semi final because a Gidor team that had been so impressive against St Unions carried that impressive form into the first half. And if, if anything, you look maybe dead and gone at half time on. I suppose on the scoreboard now it didn't look great. Um, been six points down but we felt like we had plenty of chances, you know, but it wasn't really reflected on the scoreboard. I suppose we dropped a lot into the keeper's hands there, and we missed a few handy, f like a free there. I think Brick missed one just before half time, and there a few other chances that normally you'd put over nearly with our eyes closed. And I think if we'd get a few of them, it could have been a lot tighter at half time than it was. And the goal was such a huge score there in the second half. Maybe the one that decided that game. I well, suppose we felt that the goal nearly at that stage was the only way we were going to get back into the game because like six points in a tight game like that against Gidor with the defending that they, defenders that they have, you know, it was going to be a, a tough ass. So thankfully we got the goal, you know, and it was a good catalyst for us to go on and win the game. Yeah. This side's a lovely mixture of youth and experience. A lot of you guys have been round making that breakthrough many, many years ago. I was talking to Marty Boyle earlier on, I think he's, he's played 14 years, and Johnny the Butcher's been around a long time, you've been there, Leo, Anthony, you seem to have been around a long time, so championship final, a championship day final, shouldn't phase you too much on? No, like, I suppose we've played in finals before, you know, but there's a lot of young fellas coming in to the team as well, you know, that ha haven't played in finals or... Like you haven't been involved even in the final yet, both from a few minors coming from last year and that. So it's great for them to get a bit of experience, you know, being involved in county final day, you know, and they hopefully it'll be good for the future for them to get a bit of experience in it. They say young fellas have no fear. You guys in 2005, you showed no fear of a, a great St. Eunice team that day. Is it a similar situation maybe for Sunday week? Is, is it going to take that to want it? Ah, well, I suppose there's always a bit of fear now of, of losing, like, but. 
um, you know, I suppose when you're younger, you don't really think, you know, you don't really think of. Yeah. You don't know what fear is. You don't really, I suppose, you don't really realise it until it's, you're looking back on it. You know, um, you think that you're going to have plenty of years playing, but you're, you know, you're somebody who could get a bad injury, or you could have to move away travelling or working or whatever. You mightn't be. Might be involved in the final again, you know. So you have to make the most of it now when you are there. Yeah. And there's a real contrast to how they've got to the final. I suggested to Martin Regan earlier on, maybe staggered their way into the final. But some might say that's a good way to get to a final, Paddy. Yeah, definitely. That's a. It's always a sign of a dangerous team, you know. They've 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 they've, they've kind of jog jog to the final yeah. in terms of in terms of that way. That's the right way of saying it. But uh, you know they'll be delighted to be back in and they'll be delighted to be playing Kilkiar. You know we beat them. We beat them in the semi-final last year, and, and they'll be gone for us, you know. And they're battle-hardened. I mean, when it comes to finals, you you, were, you alluded to it earlier on. I mean, Neve Connell have a great record in county finals. Yeah, they've won three, and they've been in I don't know how many over the last ten, ten years. So they know what it uh, takes to get over the line, and um, you know it's just a matter of us boys and our team stepping up to the plate because you know they're not going to be fearing anyone in a county final. They've been there numerous times, and you know it's just who, whoever wants it most is going to take it eventually. We know it's a slightly older Kilcar team. Is it a somewhat wiser Kilcar team approaching this final? I suppose you always learn from your defeats, really. And we we had a big defeat last year in the county final, so you know I think our lads learned a lot from it. Um, you know, like Leif Connolly probably learned a lot from from their game against us last year. So listen, whoever it's not going to come down to tactics. I don't think at the end of the day, or it's going to come down to whoever wants it most. And you know, it's going to be massive 60 minutes of football. Yeah. If we look over the last 10 or 11 years, three teams have dominated the senior championship: St. Eunan's, Glen Swally, and Neve Connell. That says a lot about what's going on because we know how competitive it is here, and there are other good clubs like St. Michael's and Kilcar and Guidor that haven't won the championship. Uh, I mean, it, that says a lot. So obviously, this is a final that perhaps, in terms of experience of the big day, you're carrying something just a little bit extra into it. Uh, I suppose uh, it's coming really from underage, you know, built, you know, won a few titles underage between minors and under 21s and that, and thankfully it came through and boys have stayed about and it carried through to seniors, but like you can't write Kilcar off either in that sentence because they've won minors and under 21s as well and they've a host of big names has been involved with Donegal and that through their team, so, you know, the Kilcar, I think they're the bookies' favourites and rightly so in their farm the last couple of years. You know, they're a, the most consistent team in Donegal, so you know we're going to be up against it, but it stays like that that you start playing football for. Like. Yeah. If we look over the last 10 or 11 years, three teams have dominated the senior championship St. Eunan's, Glen Swally, and Neve Connell. That says a lot about what's going on because we know how competitive it is here, and there are other good clubs like St. Michael's and Kilcar and Guidor that haven't won the championship. Uh, I mean, it, that says a lot. So obviously, this is a final that perhaps in terms of experience of the big day you're carrying something just a little bit extra into it? Uh, I suppose uh, it's coming really from underage you know built you know won a few titles underage between minors and under 21s and that and thankfully it came through and boys have stayed about and it carried through to seniors but like you can't write Kilcar off either in that sentence because they've won minors and under 21s as well and they've a host of big names has been involved with Donegal and that through their team so you know the Kilcar I think they're the bookies favourites and rightly so in their farm the last couple of years you know they're the most consistent team in Donegal so you know we're going to be up against it but it stays like that that you start playing football for like. Yeah. Is it too simplistic to say about Kilcar Owen if you give them space their pace will kill you is that is that too simplistic a, a way of putting it? Uh, not really no, I suppose you could say that about any team but it's just Kilcar have some of not even the paciest players in the county but in the country like they have yeah. they seem to have them so you know it's going to be up to the boys it's tasked with doing man marking jobs on, the, on their pacey players to do it and as I said there earlier hopefully that uh, we'll come out more than 50-50 on that side of the battle that more fellas will win their 50-50s than, than won't so that'll get us through hopefully Who do you fancy man to man marking and getting 50-50 on them? Well I'll be standing out knowing and whoever comes over to me will be marked <laughs> <laughs> To mark you <laughs> and, and finally Owen listen it's a, it's a huge day the county final is no matter what teams are on it's a huge day but the fact that you guys are trying to bounce back from last year's defeat and the fact that they haven't won a championship for so long there seems to be just that special edge about it and there's a great rivalry between the two clubs Aye that's it I suppose this is a really 
the last couple of years we played each other in championship as well. You know, as I said, we beat them well in 15 and then they beat us well last year. So I suppose that's a bit of spice to it as well. But, you know, I think it will be a lot tighter this year than, than the last couple of years. You know, both teams have really come on and we know each other really well from right through from underage and the last, you know, playing leagues and stuff like that as well. So uh, hopefully for the neutrals it'll be a good game. I think both teams are very attack minded, you know, that they're not afraid to commit players forward and hopefully for anyone that's neutral that they'll enjoy the game and I. And finally Paddy, a lot of people talk obviously about the star players, Kilkiar, we know who they are, we don't need to name them, but uh, it has to be a collective effort, hasn't it, because five fixed players are not going to win this final for you? No, definitely not, it's never been the, been the case in any, in any team that's won a county title, um, you know, it's going to be 15 battles and, uh, you know, whoever, whoever comes out in tops in terms of the battles is going to, going to take the Dr. McGuire, you know.